everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about my latest purchase for exercising my German short-haired pointer, Levi. If you love exercising, dogs, motorcycles, and sleep tips, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. Hey Levi! So Levi is a five and a half year old rescue we've had for about three weeks and he came to us already quite well trained. He is very good healing on the leash when walking. We're working on healing while running. So he was really pretty easy to get trained up with biking, uh, especially attached to the dog tow leash. In addition to the dog attachment, I do also use a halty so that I can get him used to going left and right while using the bike attachment. And it also helps to steer him away from bunnies and squirrels uh, and raccoons. The bike attachment really does help keep the dog away from the bike so it's safe for both of you. I did compare lots of different styles of um, dog attachments, dog bike attachments, and I did choose this one because it fit the bill for me. I wanted the dog to be able to have some flexibility forwards and backwards so that I could get a sense of when they wanted to speed up or when they wanted to slow down and they had that option. It lets me know how the dog is feeling when we're on the move. The second reason I liked this attachment is that it attached lower on the bike. It attaches in the rear triangle rather than up under the seat post. If you can imagine a dog pulling sideways and the attachment being under your seat post, it's going to really pull you over depending on the strength of your dog. Um, Levi's quite strong and so I, I like the attachment lower where He's closer to the ground and there's less chance of pulling over the bike. He has pulled quite hard due to raccoons and there's been no problem whatsoever. Uh, so I like it for that reason. The third reason I like this attachment is that it goes on and off the bike very easily. It attaches to the rear triangle and it can be a little tricky if you have disc brakes. I'll show you what I did. I have it attached actually to my pannier system rather than the frame. I would prefer the frame, but I have it attached to the pannier system and that is working quite well. So you do have to take the attachment apart a little bit, just take off one bolt to slip it in behind, um, but it's very easy to do. I also like that when you are not using the attachment, it, the end that clips onto your dog's harness or collar, I hope you're not using a collar, please use a harness when you have this on your dog. The part that attaches to the harness can easily come up and attach underneath the seat. So it's great for storage, it doesn't take up much room at all. It does add a, a little bit of weight to the bike, so your bike is not gonna be as light as you remember, but uh, it's, it's quite negligible, especially when you're riding. So Levi and I have used the bike tow leash for about five rides now, and it didn't take much getting used to at all. He took to it like a duck to water. Uh, he loves it. He gets excited when he sees my bike helmet, and it didn't take much training at all. There are some training tips you can go through if your dog isn't quite so sure about it, but we didn't have to go through them so much. I did go through a little mini exercise of having him walk beside me and then the bike beside me with the bike attachment sticking out so we all kind of get used to being around everything all at the same time and he was fine so it really didn't take much. Um, the next morning I went right away to the bike and attached him with the harness on the side not on the top so if there's a d-clip on the side of your harness that's best uh, and yeah it was excellent from day one. Highly recommend it. Two thumbs up from me. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you know someone who would benefit from the information in here, please send it along to them. Uh, it would be very helpful to me as well. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button because it does help the channel tremendously if you do subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a super day. Bye.